Good morning guys, welcome back to Manila. Happy Saturday, it is the weekend. Woo! We've got some plans today to head to some markets and try some local foods. Yeah. First time trying Filipino foods. But first of all, we're having a lazy morning. Uh, we've been getting some work done. I've edited two videos, got one to go. It's probably about 12 now. We still haven't had breakfast. So I don't know, should we head out and get some breakfast first? Yeah, we can do. So we're gonna head out and get some breakfast. I'm fancy some pancakes, I don't know about you. Ooh. Yeah? Yeah, why not? Hopefully we'll still be able to find some other to do pancakes because it is pretty much lunchtime now, but yeah. This market we're going to opens at 2 and closes at 11, so we've got all afternoon and all evening to go there. Yeah. Um, I am filming on a different camera. I don't know if you could tell. I'll just show you quickly in the mirror. I'm filming on this Nikon today. I haven't filmed a full video on it before, but I normally film on the GoPro, but I'm gonna leave the GoPro down and try and film on this Nikon. Hopefully everything goes well. We've got a couple of days left in Manila and then we head to Palawan. So please, if you've been to Palawan, leave your recommendations in the comments. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It helps us massively. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It helps us out massively. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. But for now, we're gonna get some breakfast. Okay, so that's just plan, we're not for pancakes. I'm gonna to head to the bakery and pick up some breakfast while Kelsey jumps in the shower. We're gonna to head to the market, see what we can find. Hopefully try some traditional foods and just some other foods as well. Sorry, do you you filming then? <laughs> We've obviously got like the list of must tries that we're gonna try and find. Yeah. Like a, what is it, chicken adobo? Chicken adobo, uh, we wanna try and find sisig. And I oh. don't know what else, whatever. What was that dessert you had? Oh, like, halo halo. Maybe if we can find that, that sounds exciting. And then I guess we'll just see what else we come across. Right, let's go. Okay, so we've come down to the Mercato Central, and it doesn't seem like there's too many stalls here, but we're gonna take a look around and see what we can find. Yeah, also, I don't think we're gonna find much um, Filipino food. It seems to be more uh, other countries. So there's a Chicago stall. And this is the Korean store next to us, so we're gonna have a look around and see if we can find it. Okay, so we hit the Chicago store first, and they had like mac and cheese, they had lasagna, they had some um, garlic bread, but we've gone for some roast beef and mashed potato. Because it looked so good. It did look good. We're so gonna go some mashed potato first. Pretty good mashed potato to be there. I've got a knife, so I'm just gonna have to bite into the beef. That's a big chunk of beef, that is. No. Not bad. Pretty good to be fair. Is it cold? It's not that warm. Mash looks good to be fair. Mm. Anyway, do you want to try? I'm just going to go straight in for this beef. Oh. <laughs> it's very chewy. Yeah. I think it's because it's a really big slice. I maybe. thought it was going to be a bit more tender because I thought it was. It looked like quite slight, like finely sliced than it's in the thing. But no, it's quite, quite thick, it's quite chewy. The gravy is really good. The mash is really good too. The one thing the Philippines seem to do well is gravy. The gravy yeah, is and I didn't well. think that was a thing before coming. No. Okay, this has turned out to be a little bit of a fail. There's not really that many souls. Um, some of them are like not even open, but they're there. Yeah. So the beef was nice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna head into the shop more up. So that's we at the Glorietta Four, and find a restaurant. There's bound to be a restaurant doing Filipino food. Yeah. Because the aim of the aim of the day was to try Filipino food. So yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna make sure we do that. Yeah, we're gonna find a restaurant, Filipino restaurant, hopefully. Yeah. Have some dishes, maybe get one each that's different. Yeah. And hopefully some dessert. Hopefully. That's the plan. Okay, so we wandered around the shopping malls and we couldn't find anywhere that was doing like Filipino traditional food. So we had a quick look on Google Maps and we come down to a place called Mesa, which is in Green Belt 5. Um, basically, the area is just one big shopping mall, it's insane. But yeah, we come down to Mesa, it does traditional Filipino food. We've ordered a couple of dishes. So when it comes, we'll show you what we got and then we will taste it. Okay, so food has arrived. It looks delicious. So this is the chicken and pork adobo. We've got a garlic rice, a 
boiled rice and this is the sisig. Honestly, I couldn't tell you what was in the sisig. I think we might have to do a bit of googling first. It looks interesting. There's definitely see, onion, pork. Yeah, I, see them, I see some onion, I see some pork. I don't know what the white stuff is. No, it looks like some sort of like sauce almost, but I'm not really sure. I guess we'll just give it a try. I'm the sissic first. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. It's on a big hot griddle, so I'm just gonna be pointing. Oh, very quick, babe. Is it crispy or chewy? Crispy. A little bit chewy then. It just tastes like really, really tiny, tiny bits of crispy pork. Oh. You know like your bacon lardons? Yeah. A bit similar to that. Okay. It's got a flavour to it. I don't know what the flavour is. I'm presuming that's what this white sort of sauce is. Do you taste the calamansi? Not really. Not strongly, anyway. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah? Yeah, I thought that was going to have like a really strong flavour. Yeah. It didn't. It's actually really good. Oh, I'm excited to try it. Yeah, don't try it. I was really nervous, but... It doesn't smell too strong. No. Yeah. Very crispy. Yeah. I see what you mean by there's a taste. There's, there's some taste in there that's like I don't not know what expected. It is. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Pretty good though. That's a really good appetizer. Then we picked up a chicken pork adobo. Um, I'm not 100% sure what adobo is, but I'm gonna go for it, some garlic rice with it as well. I can't describe the taste, but the meat is really tender and the garlic rice is really good as well. Okay, so I went for some pork, Kelsey's gonna get some of the chicken. Go for it with some garlic rice. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? Mm. What are your thoughts? That was delicious. It was really, really good. It was. I think my favourite probably was the pork and chicken adobo. Yeah. I did like the chicken more than the pork if I had to choose. So like if they did like on their own chicken adobo here and then a pork adobo, I would pick the chicken one. I'd probably pick the pork. Oh, would you? Yeah. Nice. But yeah, overall, really, really tasty. The garlic rice was lovely, a really nice, like... Addition. That's the word I was looking for. A really nice, like, addition to my food. And it goes, I guess, with everything. Yeah, I think um, <coughs> dessert's gonna be a struggle, but we're gonna have to try it. Yeah, I think we're gonna have one dessert between us, because I don't think we could do one each. Yeah. So we'll see what they've got. Yeah, normally when we try the, the traditional meals from each country, um, we normally just have like a small bit, I guess. I don't know, and then we end up eating more foods. Because we come to a proper restaurant to try, we've ended up having like a big meal each and uh, we bought absolutely stuff, but yeah. yeah. We're gonna get dessert, we're gonna try it, and we need to choose one. We, there was two in mind, but I think we need to get just one. We've gone for the leche flan. Did I say that right? I think so. Leche flan. Uh, it's like a custard with like a caramel. Let's give it a go, I guess. That's interesting. I don't know if it's hot or cold. It's cold. Okay. I'm going to 
assuming it's very sweet. Very sweet. It's not as creamy as custard. I can't describe it. Okay, it's I'm, nice. I'm sorry. It's absolutely drenched in caramel. It smells like caramel. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, like I can't explain it. It's very, very unique. I've never had anything like that before. The pasta just, it just like falls apart in your mouth. I don't know, you don't even have to chew it, just like, you can like suck it and it just like dissolves. The taste is nice though, it's very caramel. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, we're back in the hotel now, we were undecided whether or not to go for some drinks or come back, so we've decided to pick up some drinks from 7-Eleven. The old red horse. I've got some funky coloured. Whatever these are. Kind of like a WKD, I guess, is it? They're pretty colours, pretty much why I picked them up. But we've come back, even though we had a morning just full of work, we have some things to catch up on. We, we have things to plan, we have things to book. Yeah, so we've come back, we're going to end it here. Yeah. If you're on the run here, make sure you hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and we will see you again in the next one.